Hello, I want to tell you about a feature that we have on Shared Email Templates. It is called Insertive Sections. With this feature, you can insert a part of a template, such as a paragraph, a list, a list item, a table, or a table row, into an email depending on a specific condition. A condition can be based on the email content, a word in a subject line, or even an email address. Conditions can also be interactive. It means that you can choose what to insert. Let's see how insert if sections work. Let's say I have three bookstores in three different cities and I often receive requests to host events. Usually, a request includes the name of a city in the message body or in a subject line. I already have a template that contains information about each store. Three paragraphs, actually. And I want only one of them to be automatically inserted if the corresponding city is mentioned in the subject line. So, I'll add a condition to each paragraph. I right-click a paragraph and select Add Condition. I choose Message field because I want my condition to be based on information in the message field. Then I select Subject so a subject line will be checked for my condition. I select Contains as the condition itself. Please pay attention that the matches and doesn't match conditions are only used with regular expressions. And I write the name of the city that the subject line must contain. I click OK. Now I add similar conditions to the other paragraphs. Let's insert the template into the email and check how it works. Great! A paragraph with information about the store in New York is inserted because New York is mentioned in the subject. But what if I want to choose a city right with inserting my template? For that purpose, I'll add a what to enter macro to the template. I'm selecting drop down list. I'm entering the field name and adding a list of cities New York, London, Paris. Since I need this macro only for insert if sections, I select this checkbox and I click OK. Now I need to change my condition for each paragraph because I need it to be based not on the message field in this case, but on the result returned by the what to enter macro. I have only one what to enter macro in my template, so it is shown here. The what to enter macro result must contain the name of a specific city. Then I click OK. Now let's check. I insert the template. A dialog shows up prompting me to choose a city. I choose Paris, click OK, and voila, nous sommes à Paris. Now, what if I want to insert two paragraphs with information about two cities at the same time? I just need to make a small change in the what to enter macro. I will select this checkbox and I'll be able to choose two or more cities. Here, I add a space as a separator. Let's see. I insert the template, choose New York and London, and click OK. Great! I have the information about bookstores in both New York and London in my reply. Well, if you don't need the conditions anymore, I can remove them with just a couple of clicks. That's it! Thanks for watching this video. Enjoy your shared email templates!